What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today we're going to talk about the goal line fade route in NCAA Football 06. Now, by default, there is no such thing as a goal line fade route in this game. You have to create it, and this is what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you a couple of different versions of how to do it in terms of different situations and formations and such. So what you need, and we're going to go off my first example is at an eye formation normal. What you need is a drop back pass play of some sort. OK, now we're going to use curls as an example. So what you need to make this work is for this example, this is a left hash play by default because of this uh, flat route. It's just a nice short side zone beater that will always be open because of this curl distract in the corner. What we want is this guy to be a fade route. We're going to do a little hot routing. But what you need more than anything else is nobody else around him other than his defender. This is going to be your man beater, this fade route. So if for whatever reason this tight end was like running an out route, it'd get too congested over here. But this is the perfect example of what we're looking for. He'll be by himself. None of our skill players will be around him. And we're going to try to hit this fade route, preferably against like cover one or cover zero man. Okay, so let's go select curls. And I'm going to go up against like double safety spy. This is just a man beater. So notice where I'm at. I'm at the five yard line. And this fade route can work between the goal line and the 10 yard line. If you're around the 10 yard line, if the play, if the pass is perfect, you can get it in the end zone for a touchdown, but it's kind of close. But anywhere between goal line and five yards in is your perfect sweet spot for this. So what we're going to do is we want to isolate that curl route on the right. Notice how much grass he's got to play with. This is even more helpful. You need him on the strong side of the field. And what we're going to do is hit triangle. We're going to hit circle. And we're going to hit R2. So again, triangle brings up your hot routes, hit circle to select your receiver or whoever you're doing the hot route with, and then you hit R2, and what that does, it turns it into a right slant. But technically, this is going to be our fade route. Now, there's not a single play in this game that has an outside slant like this, which makes it unique. So what we're going to do at this point, once he makes his cut, we're going to just try to throw it over the top, and hopefully he can make a good catch. Now, forgive me if I'm going to have a bunch of drops here because this is an exact size, and it's usually the, one of the harder throws to make, but it can be done. So something like this is possible, just a good play by that defender. So let's try it again. We're going to hit circle. We're going to hit R2, and let's see if we can make a better throw. Can you get in the end zone? Oh, super close. But you get my point here. So they're going man. You snap the ball. Both safeties come down. Perfect. We want to hit this fade route. If you can try to hit in the back of the end zone, that would be awesome. But just a great play by the defender. So let's try it again. Let's go hit triangle, hit circle, and hit R2. I'm going to snap it. Something like this. Interception. That can happen sometimes. It just depends on the defender, honestly. But let's try it again. Come over here. And... Just another bad throw. I don't ever put English on this. I normally don't have to. Something like this could work. How about that? That's what you want to see right there. So go back and look at this. So, okay, we broke the huddle. We noticed that they're going man. We made our hot route adjustment. I'm looking at the safeties. Both of them are coming down. Awesome. Now I'm just going to hit. Notice I threw it right before he made his cut. And we're just waiting for him to hopefully make a play. Thankfully, that corner stopped. <laughs> that made things a little bit easier. So let's do it a few more times, okay? We made our adjustment. I saw both safeties come down. I'm just going to go over the top. Great catch. This is what we're looking for right there. Now, it'd be nice if you could make that look prettier like every single time. But that's football for you. It can't always be like that. Something like this. Oh, just a bad throw by the cor uh, quarterback. But the receiver had a good leverage. We'll try it again. Something like this. Oh, just another bad throw by their quarterback. Try to hit a basic press of the button, and that was a little too hard. It just takes a lot of practice. Something like that. That's what you're looking for right there. Sometimes it will look a whole lot prettier where he'll get outside of that cornerback, and he'll just go right up. Now, it sounds obvious, but it helps you if you have a, a wide receiver who's kind of tall and who can jump. And it also helps if that quarterback can make a play right there. So that's just a good throw, and that's kind of what we're looking for. Okay, now what happens if they go zone? Just go to one of your zone beaters. Very simple. So here I am. We'll go cover two. We'll break the huddle. Okay, I, I think they're going zones. I'm going to snap it, and I'm just going to go to one of my zone beaters, and I'm just going to score a touchdown. So it helps to have those backup options when you're not seeing cover one or cover zero man. Okay, so let's pick another play right here. Let me get out of this one really quick. Let's look at a couple other versions of this, a couple other situations. Let's go to gun normal. 
Now, sometimes, again, all you need is a drop back play and you need that wide receiver isolated. So let's go with, how about, let's try wide receiver stutter slant, okay? Uh, we'll go up against 4-3. We'll just go up against the same play. Let's bring this over to the right hash. So I want to isolate this receiver just like we've done before. This time we're going to do an L2. We're going to do the left slant. But notice I got a wide receiver here as well because if you notice when we snap the ball, it's a pretty quick throw, like barely a second and it's out. Well, this guy is still going to be kind of in the way and his defender is going to be over him and it just gets really congested. So what you can do here, you can either like hot route this post to something like a slant just to get him out of the way more or you could just move him over. Again, just kind of get him out of the way. And then you can go square L2. And now you're off to the races here, and you can hit the back of the end zone, hopefully for a touchdown. So notice I just moved that receiver over, get that receiver isolated. I've done the hot route. Now at this point, you just got to make the throw and hope for the best. Two impact players going at it right here. Something's got to give. Good job by the corner. So let's do that again. We're going to bring this receiver over. We want to isolate our receiver on the left. Do our hot route. Come over here, and can you make the play? Just a good play by the defender again. Going up against some really good corners today. Do something like this. Can he get it? There we go. That's what we want to see right there. So that's just another little situation. Even if you feel like this play doesn't look like it could be a good goal line fade, you can make it as such. Move somebody over, isolate that receiver, and then go to work. Okay? I'm going to end on a high note on that one. The last one I want to show you just as another example is like shotgun trips over. And let's use, for example, like flood right here. Notice we got like a little flood concept on the right and an isolated post by our tight end. Let's select that and we'll go up against another man beater. No problem. So here we are. So what I want to show you are two things. One, you cannot hot route a slant on a tight end you would automatically think, okay, Al's going to do a tight end slant fade goal line thing. No, I'm not. So if you notice here, this tight end on the left side, if I hit triangle and I hit square for the tight end and I hit L2, he blocks. Anytime you have a tight end on the line or a halfback in the backfield, they are going to block if you use L2 or R2. So you can't do this with a tight end. You'd have to go find another route, and I'm sure there are some in this game. I have not tested them where you can do it with a tight end, but you'll have to find that right uh, particular route, probably a flag route of some sort. But in this case, this is what I wanted to show you. You can't do it with a tight end on the line. But what you can do is get another receiver going. So let's pick one of the receivers on the right side and move him over. Okay, let's go and... Let's move 86 over. He's our best receiver. So while he is coming over, I'm going to do the hot route. I'm going to bring him over. I'm going to hit triangle, circle, L2. Now he's isolated. That's exactly what we won. Go over the top. Can you make the play? Good play by the defender. So let's try that again. I'm going to bring him over. Again, I'm just hitting the up and down button just to pick my players. We're going to bring him over. I'm going to hit triangle, circle, L2 just to save time. Can he get over the top? Great play. Exactly what we're looking for here. So I brought him over. He's over on the left side. I saw the safeties come down. We're going to head over the top. If you see cover one, even better. That's fine. Cover zero is actually a little bit easier. But just a great play by our wide receiver. And we're going to get a touchdown. So that's pretty much how I do the goal line fade. The key is, again, you need an isolated receiver somewhere of some sort. Move people around if you got to. And if we're going man, do that hot route and hope for the best. Otherwise, just go to a zone beater and move on to the next play. All right. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this and got something out of it. And I'll talk to you later.